Our next inductee is the first African American to compete in any sport at Louisiana State University. He was a four-time All-American and five-time SEC champion as a sprinter for the track and field squad. Introducing Lloyd Wills. Lloyd Wills joined the LSU track and field team in 1969, becoming the first African-American to compete in any sport for the Tigers. He joined basketball player Collis Temple Jr. in 1974 as the first black student athletes to earn an LSU degree. Wills, a product of New Orleans, was a four-time All-American at LSU in the 440-yard dash and in the mile relay. He was a five-time SEC champion, and he earned first-team All-SEC accolades on 10 occasions. During his LSU career, Wills worked as a big brother to physically handicapped youth. He later enjoyed a brilliant career as a teacher, earning 2002 Teacher of the Year recognition from the Orleans Parish School Board. 2021 LSU Athletics Hall of Fame inductee, Lloyd Wills. Presenting Lloyd with his plaque this evening is LSU Board of Supervisors member, Collis Temple Jr., who joined Lloyd in 1974 as the first African-American student athletes to earn degrees at LSU. Congratulations to you both. Good evening, Dr. William F. Tate IV, friends, family, and distinguished guests. This is an honor beyond my dreams. 52 years ago, I arrived at LSU. Sometimes it seems like yesterday. Sometimes it seems like 100 years ago. I had the pleasure of being in Broussard Hall with some of the best athletes in the world. Have you ever heard of a guy called Pete Maravich, Bert Jones, Larry Ship, Tommy Casanova, Bob Smith, or Collis Temple? I saw these guys every day. And if I had known they were going to be famous, I would have taken pictures or gotten their autographs. <laughs> but if you've never heard of them, I invite you to Google them. First, I must thank my parents, Audrey and Lloyd Wills Sr., who are no longer with us. Literally, I would not be here without them. They were great parents. They kept six children grounded and balanced and into adulthood. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Thank you to my George Washington Carver High School teammates and coaches, especially, especially Coach Enos Hicks and Coach Warren Braden, who trained me to be a winner on the track and in life. Thanks, Irvin Mobile Carter, one of, the, one of my high school school assistant coaches. Mobile was the first person to tell me in my sophomore year, with certainty in his voice, that I was going to be a state champion in high school. Although I didn't have a clue what that entailed, the very next year, I was the 440-yard dash state champion. Thanks, Mobile. Thanks to my sisters and brothers for just being you. And an extra thank you to my younger brother, Harold, who joined me at LSU as a long jumper. Thank you to my kids and grandkids. See, I told you I used to be fast. Thank you, Coach May, Coach Walker, Coach Garland. Being the first black athlete at LSU came with his own unique opportunities and challenges. And it was not lost on me that Coach May was the first LSU head coach to coach a black athlete. So he also inherited his share of opportunities and challenges. Considering the decade we had to work in, I think he did a terrific job. Thanks, Coach May. Thank you to all my LSU track and field teammates. I can't remember having an unkind word with any of you. It's amazing that many of us are still in contact with each other, sometimes on a weekly basis. You made me a better runner, 
and I hope I played a small part in your success. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Keith Ballard. I call Keith my honorary son. He is the person that made me believe that I was worthy and deserving of the honor, of this honor. He dug into my history and found stats and newspapers and magazine articles of accomplishments that I had completely forgotten about. Keith organized all the information and submitted it to the LSU Athletic Hall of Fame. And well, here I am. Thanks again, Keith. Thank you, Al Coffey. I met Al in high school. He was a senior and I was a junior. Al told me he was going to LSU and wanted me to come the following year. I felt I had a friend at LSU before I got there, and that was a big factor in my decision to attend LSU. Thanks, Al. Thank you, Carlos Temple. I couldn't ask for a better friend. Carlos always found a way to put fun in our days at LSU and always encouraged us to pay attention to our academics. It was important to him 51 years ago, and I'm sure it's just as important to him today. Thank you, Carlos. In closing, congratulations to all my fellow inductees. Thank you, LSU, for the tremendous honor, and go Tigers.